Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to Creatively Claudia. This channel is all about digital planning and organizational tips. So in today's video, I'm actually redecorating my, or not redecorating, I guess reorganizing my office. So this is where I spend a lot of my time creating digital planners, planning, and just creating content for you guys. I really wanted to change things up a bit. And so I'm going through a whole bunch of stuff and I'm kind of trying to reorganize the way it looks and so I decided I wanted to record it the whole process and of course it's messy right now because I think when you're trying to organize something you kind of make a mess. This is your friendly reminder to also organize your workspace because it boosts productivity and motivation and then you put it all back together and where it belongs and organize neatly where where everything goes. Of course it's messy right now it's really messy but I will take you guys along to see what I come up with and I should have filmed it before so you guys would have seen what it looked like but I didn't do that I kind of just started moving things and then I decided I wanted to record but anyways let's get started I hope you enjoy the video so this is what I'm currently working with. As you can see, there is a big mess. It says craft a life you love. Um, my sister actually hand drew that and then I painted over it. So this is a little desk that I use for homeschooling. And that's another thing that this room is also used for homeschooling as well. So I kind of want to incorporate the two, but I don't know how to do that. And then there's a lot of things on this little Ikea calyx that like I kind of want to get rid of and I don't really know what to do. I don't know what to put in its place. This is what this looks like. That wall, like I wish I could just paint over it because it's kind of uh, sad and disappointing. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's an overview and I'm going to see what I come up with. So in today's video, of course, we'll do some cleaning up. Um, as you can see, the first step is to throw away any trash or unnecessary things, which there is a lot of, but my goal is to create a space that I love walking into and that will increase my productivity because that is what this space is all about. It's about getting things done and being productive. I scrolled through Pinterest and I found so many cute ideas of things that I wanted to incorporate into my office and yeah pinterest is definitely a game changer when it comes to motivation just remember to create a space you love and i can guarantee that the productivity will come because you will want to do things in your space you will enjoy getting things done so i've gotten a lot of questions about a lot of things here in my office and i actually have an amazon storefront where i will link everything that I can think of and that I can find in my Amazon storefront. If there is anything specifically that is not linked and you want me to link it, please let me know and I will link that for you. I did this cleaning on a Saturday morning and let me tell you, cleaning my office was the last thing I wanted to do but I knew it had to be done because I needed to get my productivity boost and every single time my office is a mess or unorganized and not the way I want it to be, it kills my productivity. I don't know if the same happens for you but yeah, this was definitely a struggle to actually get done because it was a work in progress and that's why I think I decided to start filming it because I was like if I film it I know I have to get it done and I will get it done so that was a major boost of motivation for me Also, let me know if you enjoy watching these kinds of videos. I really enjoyed filming it and editing it and it was really fun to put together. So just let me know in the comments down below. 
Also, if you're wondering why I have a ton of these machines, I actually don't use them all and um, they were from my previous job. I actually used to work for a crafter, uh, an influencer. I don't even know what, I don't want to mention the name or anything, but um, I used to work for someone and I was actually sent all of these and I haven't been able to part with them. I'm not sure if I should sell them or give them away or what exactly I should do but I don't use all of these I actually just use one the one that's on my desk but um, yeah let me know if you have any ideas maybe I could do a giveaway if you guys are into crafting I don't know but um, yeah there's a whole bunch of machines I really don't know what to do with If you guys know how to get these stains out of these white desks, I would really appreciate any advice because it is so hard to get stains off of these white desks. These are the ones from Ikea and every single time there's a stain, it takes me forever to take out the stain no matter what I put on it. Right now I'm just using a wipe but I knew it wasn't going to come off completely but I wanted to get this desk semi cleaned at least. I usually clean this on a weekly basis just to avoid any dust and from things is getting super dirty. So I had an idea with this bulletin board. I originally had it as like my vision board, but I wanted to put it above my kid's desk. So I kind of wanted to turn it into something for them and things that I could put on their side whenever they created art projects or little things that I could show off. I wanted them to see that I appreciated their hard work because honestly homeschooling has been a rough journey um, as it being our first year it's definitely been a learning curve and I know there's many opinions out there but this is what I've decided to be best for my boys and although I went back and forth a lot especially this beginning of this year um, I decided that this was the route I wanted to go whatever I can do to make their experience better and for them to know that I appreciate all their hard work I will do so that's what I'm just doing here I'm just taking off things that I feel like don't belong and then I'm keeping little things that I have kept from them so if you're a mom I highly encourage you to try something like this because I can guarantee your child will feel very special when they see their things up on a bulletin board or on a wall um, just showing off their work and showing them that you are proud of them makes a world of a difference so now I'm gonna put up these positive affirmation sheets that they've made so this is actually part of our homeschool schedule and every single morning they have to read off of these sheets and these are just positive little sayings that they will say out loud and I think this is a huge confidence boost I want my boys to be confident and I want them to know that they are loved so a lot of these positive little quotes say I am loved I am confident I can do hard things I can challenge myself so things like that um, they will read out loud every single morning and just having that be a part of their routine I think is a game changer so I highly suggest you do that as well I think it's really really good for building confidence especially in young minds just to grow up and continue with that mindset is a big deal and let me tell you I was struggling with this bulletin board for the longest um, everything here is sped up as you've seen uh, but honestly this room took a while to clean up and to organize and this bulletin board was what probably frustrated me the most because it took forever for me to put it in the right place it took forever and maybe I was overthinking it I probably was I don't know I probably could have done it easier but it took me forever
Let's take a moment to appreciate that I was finally able to hang it up and finally get it in the right place where it belonged and I think it turned out so great. I think it looks beautiful here. Alright you guys, and this is it for how it turned out. I feel like there's still some things I need to tweak around. I am just a perfectionist and I can't, oh, there's like little things that I'm not super happy about. But yeah, sorry for the light right there, but this is like a quick overview. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this. Um, there's like, like I mentioned, there's a lot of things on this calyx that I don't want to have on here anymore and i i want to like redecorate this whole thing um probably put up more cubbies and just make it more organized a lot of these things i don't really use or serve me no purpose and i kind of just want to get rid of them so going into a little bit more detail um there's my little sunflower i actually made it then there's a little frame with lots of different quotes and then here is my desk setup. This is where you guys will see uh, my videos mostly. Um, this is where I film. This is where I plan. And yeah, this is, um, I get a lot of questions about this pink printer. I actually got it on Amazon and it was not that expensive. It was pretty cheap actually. Nowadays, I've noticed that this printer is like super expensive. I'm not sure why, but it's, maybe it's gotten like a little bit more attention or something. Um, but yeah, this keyboard is also on Amazon. Um, if you guys want to check out my Amazon storefront then I'll link these things my MacBook case as well there's my lovely iPad I got some notebooks and this little date calendar thingy I don't know what to call this blocks calendar blocks I don't know I got this from El Salvador and I love it right there and my little frames and stuff um, that little thing lights up the live happy heart and um, it's so cute my mom gave it to me for one of my birthdays um, here is my Cricut and um, a notepad and my little um, what is this called I don't know what this is called but then I have a laminator in the back um, to laminate things and I am pretty crafty you guys so other than my work I like to also craft and um, yeah I want to put something in this little space like in the middle like maybe like a tall some tall type of decor I don't know I feel like something's missing there and it's kind of bothering me but that's what I have for now um, and then here I'm not gonna go through these individual drawers because um, they might be messy or just unorganized I need to go through those as well and then in the clear bins um, is homeschooling stuff for my boys and then at the very bottom is um, card stock and then more things that are organized right there Stuff like pencil sharpeners and I don't even know paint sticks stuff like that now moving on to here I have this little thing that I call art cart and it's just filled with paint play-doh and then here is like little crafting things all right this is my kids uh, desk and originally I had planned to just move this desk when they were both gonna be working on it usually they're not both sitting down doing schoolwork at the same time so I don't see a problem with it just having one chair usually we do it separate times or one of them is doing sit down work and the other one is doing different type of work or activity um, but before I had this bulletin board filled with like my things and I think it would be fun to have this right there with their stuff and just add to it and so that they can have their own things right there and yeah this is pretty much it I hope you guys like how it turned out um, like I said I feel like there's still a lot of things I want to fix or little tweaks here and there but for the most part I'm happy with it I'm happy that it's organized and it's clean and then also this rug I'm going to also link it on my Amazon storefront because I do get a lot of questions about that as well so I'll be sure to link it there that is all for today's video I hope you really enjoyed it I hope you have had some sort of inspiration to clean up your area your office or whatever space you might use to plan I hope you really enjoyed it and until next time happy planning